everybody I'm back this week to do a nice little dip for you guys. We're going to do a hot artichoke seafood chip dip. Chip, crackers, whatever you want to dip in it. But it's kind of indulgent. I just think it sounds fancy. So start out with a mixing bowl. Get yourself one 14 ounce cans of quartered or just, you know, artichoke hearts. You're going to tump them out on your cutting board. You just spoon to get everything out. You'll want to drain this first, I should mention that. Just like crack the top a little bit and uh, drain it. And once you have it drained, you'll just, you'll have them on your cutting board and you're just going to want to give them a quick chop. I mean, some of the pieces will be small enough for your dip right away. But some of them come in a little bit bigger pieces. So you just gonna want to give it a fine, quick chop. Toss the rest of those in your mixing bowl. Okay. Now you're going to want to get a towel to dry your hand off. <laughs> Should have thought of that ahead of time, but I didn't. Okay, keep your towel handy. Now you're going to want to get one cup of mayonnaise, and you're going to put that in your mixing bowl too. Get your spoon that you just used. Get a one cup measuring cup. And fill it with mayo. You know it's good when you got a cup of mayonnaise. <laughs> now you can buy the tiny cups of mayo. I've seen the tiny jars of mayo that actually are just a cup. But, oh, I just went with what I had in the fridge. Okay. That to settle a little bit, put my little bit of extra back in the jar. Now I'm just gonna pour this, I'll scoop this into my mixing bowl. We want all the mayo. Okay, so we'll set this aside in the sink. We're done with our mayo, so we can set that to the side. Okay, now you're going to want a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Yeah, I know, aren't these big containers fun? And that is going in your mixing bowl too. So you can just fill your one cup here and go ahead and tump that right in there. Now you're going to want a cup of seafood. I, myself, you can get any combination of seafoods you want. I got mini shrimps. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to dump the whole can of mini shrimps in there. I like a lot of seafood in mine. And I'm going to put some of the, you know, mock crab legs. Move my Parmesan cheese so that's not taking up your <laughs> whole viewing. Ooh. Some shrimp tried to escape. No escaping. I'm going to put a cup of these in, and I'm going to, they're fairly shredded up already, so I'm just kind of going to, you maybe want a cup to two cups of seafood, depending on how much seafood versus artichoke ratio you like in yours. I like a lot of seafood, so. I know I'm doing a lot of making you guys watch me shred stuff up today. <laughs> okay, so once I've got a cup of that, I'm going to go ahead and dump that in there. Put my seafood to the side because I promised my mom she could have it. What? The big pack was on sale. Okay, so you're going to get that. I'm going to start stirring that all up. And, um, the can. Oh, I got some artichoke that tried to escape. And crab. Everything's trying to escape the microwave today. You can use a shallow cast 
casserole dish for this. You can use a big bowl. It's not really going to bubble up and over, so if it fits in it, you can use it. You can see it's going to be pretty thick. You're not going to have too much um, excess mayo. I'm hoping my bowl here is big enough. We'll see. Isn't this adorable though? I got this at Spirit of Halloween. Got all the cute little Day of the Dead sugar skulls on. And you just keep everything into whatever microwave microwavable, I should say, dish. I mean, you could do the mixing in your microwavable dish if you wanted to. But, eh, I thought I'd use a mixing bowl. It was easier. Try to get all the yummy little bits of artichoke and crab. And shrimpies. Okay. Now, sorry, I just gotta stare at my recipe a minute. I'm just gonna even this out, make sure. So cute. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for a minute and a half. Okay, you know, if you're doing this for a party, I wouldn't recommend licking your spoon like I do, but let's face it, am I gonna share this with anybody? No. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna start cleaning up after myself. And what I could tell you guys you will need, the only two things you're gonna need are some seasoned breadcrumbs and some parsley. Other than that, you're not gonna need, it, need any more ingredients. today. I have my tomato juice slash tomato soup set up again. Keep your spoon. You're going to want to stir this after a minute and a half. I'm going to move my cutting board over here. Oh, and if you like my shirt today, I got it from Tee Public. I know it, for me it's like the perfect combination of, oh that's such a cool Doctor Who shirt slash Aw, the feels. So yeah, I got this one on Tee Public. This is so cute. Slash sad. Okay. After this is done a minute and a half, we're gonna stir it again. I would recommend getting some hot pads. You can see it's starting to cook a little bit, but we want to give it a good stir because it doesn't like to sit on hot pads. It needs to cook the whole way through. This is where if you're using a shallower dish, it might go a little better. But if you're using a more decorative bowl, like I am, and you can touch it to see how well it's, because everything in this is cooked. You're just sort of um, heating it up slash getting all the flavors to meld. Okay, I'm gonna pack, put it back in. For another minute and a half. Okay. You're actually going to put it in for a minute and a half several times. You're going to do it about uh, five times total almost. Yeah, to make it out to about six, seven and a half minutes. Because it's going to take that long for everything to get cooked and slash heated up right. Now, if you can tell that it's hot just by touching it if you have a shallower dish, then you're good. Just get yourself some chips, some crackers, set it out for the party, what have you. And um, when it's done done, we're going to put two tablespoons of dry seasoned breadcrumbs, shake it over the top, and a, just a sprinkle of parsley. 
you know, just enough to make it look good. You'll probably hear it sizzling because the part that's on the top is cooking good, but that's why we stir it and do it a couple times so that it all cooks through. And at least at a minute and a half, you're not kind of standing around twiddling your thumb slash Doctor Who's on because, yeah, that's what I have paused on my TV over there. Let you guys see the microwave a little better. sizzling and I can smell it so good. Okay, time to stir again. Well, I can set my spoon down and just grab my hot pads because that's what I'm going to need. And you're sizzling. done just a few more times. Okay, so now we do it for another minute and a half. And yes, I'm checking Facebook while I do this. Did we really think I wouldn't be? Can you guys believe, did I say this already? I don't know if I said this already. Can you believe this is episode 60 already? I can't believe I've been doing this that long for you guys. But you just, you know how much fun I have doing this for you guys. I've been doing it for over a year now. And uh, last I looked, I had 129 subscribers. Thank you guys. That is kind of amazing to me. Two episodes with over a thousand views. Again. More than I ever thought I'd get when I started my fun little project here. And I even, <coughs> excuse me, started a Facebook page for it with 62 likes already, which for me is just fun. And you guys, I owe it all to you. Although I need more suggestions. This one I had to take up space on my fr two of my friends, Daniel and Stu's couch last night while I re researched stuff. And yes, I was at Walmart after midnight buying stuff. <sighs> Okay, got another 15 seconds and we'll stir it again. And then we're going to check it. Mine's starting to get warm. And if you think yours is warm enough, then you can quit. It's more like I said, you're going to end up doing it five to six times till you probably get it heated through to your liking. Well, that's what mine will be. Just do it in minute and a half increments. Be careful because the boopy. I'm throwing crab. Ooh. Mmm. Cheesy crab. And ooh, steam is starting to rise. Let me see. Cheese is gooey in there. Okay. I'm going to do mine one more time and then mine will be done. Like I said, an average of um, five to six times. I mean, it's like I said, until it's hot enough to your liking and then get your breadcrumbs. Mine are Italian season. Mm. But you can get whatever you want. Like you can use any brand of stuff you want. You can use your choice of seafood. I probably put in more seafood than it called for. It usually calls for a cup of seafood, but I'm like, can of tiny shrimps, cup of the crab, we're good. So, you know, a cup to cup and a half, whatever, you know, <laughs> suits you. That's what I like to do these recipes for you guys, to give you just maybe the basic guidelines of what goes in it. And if you want to make it to your own interpretation, that's what you can do. That's what I have fun doing with all these recipes. There are so many times I make recipes for you guys, which really, just a combination of stuff.
20 more seconds and then we're gonna be done. Got myself a little bag of Lay's Classic. Ah, I'd probably recommend some tortilla type chips for it, crackers, whatever. But uh, this is what the checkout aisle had at Walmart that was small. I didn't want a whole big bag. Because I knew I'd eat them. Okay. And there we have. Ooh. The perfect sizzling bowl of artichoke seafood dip. Serve it while it's hot. You will my chips probably break, yes, because I only got some thin plain chips. That's why we made spoons. Yeah, there's chip in there. Dip, dip, dip. Mmm. Well, it's hot. Serve it warm. I mean, not boiling. I just take a little bit, throw it on a chip. Mmm. And, oh! Ah, I got ahead of myself. Try it before you serve it to your guest. bowl you use, use a teaspoon to two teaspoons of breadcrumbs. I'm just going to use one even though you can use two if you use a wider container because I'm a ditz and I was in a hurry to try it for you guys. Yeah, yeah, I say for you guys more for me because I get to try it. Then I'm going to put a spitting of dry parsley. You can use fresh if you want. I like parsley. So it's anywhere from a tablespoon to two tablespoons of breadcrumbs, depending on, you know, how wide your bowl is. You just want to make it look pretty. I mean, they taste good. Look how pretty at the dip. Here. Now we'll get a chip and dig on into that. Mmm, seafood, cheese, artichoke. Mmm. Well, well, I go enjoy this. You guys go try this out. Send me your suggestions. I'll see you next week. Thank you.